back at it again. I'm going to learn how to play this thing one day. But anyway, today's question, well, let me say, welcome back to my opinion. Today's question is, how long should you wait to move someone in, take it to the next level, have kids, make this relationship more serious? Well, it all depends on how good of a job that person has. You know, what does this person bring to the table that can benefit this relationship like? Do they make a lot of money? Can they take me on trips? Can they buy me stuff? You know, you gotta ask yourself those important questions in life. Nah, let me chill with that. The real truth is, why are you making the decision of settling down? Do you love this person? Or have you come to a point in your life where you feel like the clock is ticking and I need to be married? Once you figure out what though the answer to those two questions are, then you can make your decision. Because if you feel like you've made it a point in your life that you need to settle down and this person kind of meets that and this is what I'm going to do, then you got to be prepared that all the other things that come with that decision. Meaning, if you don't really truly love someone, it's going to be hard to make it through the hard times. Now, if you feel like this person is the person for you and every day you think about them 24 seven, um, they make you smile. They stimulate you, not just physically, but a spiritual level. And if that person is really compatible with you, do you accept that person's kids? Do, um, does that person's outlook on life, their goals in life, are your and their goals kind of on the same? Um, those are the main questions you got to ask yourself. Then what I would do is once I ask all those questions and I come up with that, yes, this person fulfills me mentally and spiritually, then I'll sit them down and talk, hey, how do you feel about us? And... Um, teaming up, get, becoming one, and getting our goals together to take this to the next level. Because you don't want to prematurely jump into something that person's not ready. Because you got to understand what point in this person's life are they at? Have they been divorced? Have they had any kids? Um, and don't just make a selfish uh, choice because it's something that you want without consulting your partner. Once you have all that, hey, I say go for it. I don't think it's a set time. I don't think you should have to wait a year, two, three years for that, depending on how long you've known that person. And that's a whole totally different question. But if you've known that person for quite a, a long period of time and it's nothing that you've rushed into, like you met this person at a club in March and next thing you know in September, y'all in a hot, heated relationship and now you want to hurry up and move in and do all this other stuff. If you're smart enough to understand that you need to take the time to think about those actions, then I would take a little more time to definitely get to know that person if I haven't known them for the last five, ten years or went to school with them or any of that other stuff or work with them. But once you get past that, I don't think it's a set time. I think it's when two adults feel like this is something that we need to do. This is something that we know we need to do because we don't see it any other way. Then you discuss the other future stuff, babies, engagement, marriage, well, marriage, engagement, marriage, then babies, you know, in that order. I know we all kind of get out of order with that kind of stuff, but anyway, I hope this helps. Um, I don't think it's a right yes or no answer to that. I know it's a lot of gray area, but think about it. Don't rush into it, and if you feel like it's been long enough, hey, it's you, it's your life, have fun. But I will talk to them. Anyway, get back to this. I'm sure somebody needs some more questions. I had some more questions, and I'm going to try to learn how to play this piano.